Hey everybody, it's your boy Michael Kai, world famous world now and often, you know, talked about alleged comedian. Hey y'all, it's time for my interview show. And I know some of y'all saying, my, okay, what's up? What's up with the hair? I'm explaining the hair thing in a minute, you know. Um, but I have a special guest today that I'm excited about having this guest, okay? Uh, she's wild, she's loud, funny as shit. Oh, my hair's up in the back. Funny as all get out. I've been watching her her shows. Uh, I've been right, just watching. I've been actually binge watching The Queen, uh, The Queen's Court. Uh, the Queen's Supreme Court, okay? I've been watching, I've been fucking hollering. It's so funny. I tried to study as much as I could about her because uh, she's off the chain, uh, uh, transgender um, influencer, comedian, uh, actress. She got so much stuff going for her, right? So I'm just honored that she's going to be on my show, okay? Her name is T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison is her name, okay, T.S. Madison, and we're about to bring her on, we started, we don't start till six, you know, so it's four minutes to six, I'm just getting ready right now, I don't know how anybody could wear this hair, cause shit, it's hot as fuck, um, okay, people, this is not, well, it's, it's gonna be a family show, but it's gonna be some cussing, it's gonna be some cussing and shit, so you might not wanna have the kids all, you know, perched up, uh, to the camera for this one, okay, cause this shit gonna be crazy, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be off the chain. Ah, I see why they do that now. Get the hair off your face. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Can y'all see my lace? Can y'all see my lace front? You see my lace front? Okay, all right. I, I don't even know what the hell a lace front is, okay? Um, but we starting in three minutes with the show. I'm still in prep time, making sure the chicken is ready. Oh! Okay, case anything, get out of line. Uh, if shit go crazy, we freeze up. I have to go to the bad face. Oh, no! You know, but if y'all been hanging out with us, you know that our talks on Wednesday have really been off the chain. We've had everybody on this show. Um, we've had Hill Harper, George Wallace, uh, Guy Tory, Kenny Lattimore. He actually sang. We had Nikki Chu. Uh, T.S. Madison's on tonight. I'm excited about that. Next week, Russell Simmons, Roland Martin, uh, Miss Juicy Baby is the week after that. Tabitha Brown, who's also an actress and an influencer. Raheem Devon. This is where you want to be on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. You want to be right here doing the damn thing, okay? So, it's almost 6, so I got to do this thing properly. Bring her on the right way. Oh, my God. The things we do for entertainment. Okay, all right. Does this hair, does this voice go with this, with this hair? Good morning. It's your first time on. Oh, it's a virgin experience. Well, don't worry. We're going to break you in this evening. Come on, y'all. We about to do this doggone thing. Uh, I'm, hey, hey, hey. The real Bonnie, thank you. She was here this morning for the prayer. Oh, yeah. Uh, as a heathen, I also am deep in prayer. What up, what up, what up, nephew? Everybody's coming into the room. Come on in the room. We about to get started. We're about 30 seconds from showtime. Let me give me a sip of this water. Ah, water's good. I hope everybody uh, building their immune system. They'll keep your immune system built so you can fight this virus. This virus ain't shit. Coronavirus can kiss my ass. You hear me? Because I'm killing it. I'm doing ginger root tea, uh, echinacea and golden seal, uh, uh, um, elderberry uh, uh, cough syrup. Um, uh, black seed oil, water, 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 water. I'm kicking this ass. It's run for me. It don't come nowhere around me. I ain't play, and I don't play with y'all either. Come around me and cough. Shit, I run the fuck down the street like some shit. Like somebody set the house on fire. How y'all doing this evening? And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, ah, ah his hair's attacking me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Great Interviews. I'm your boy, Michael Callier, comedian, actor, motivational speaker, silly motherfucker, uh, from Chica Southside Chicago, Project Southside, Robert Telehome, 4352 South State, apartment 909, then I graduated from Morgan Park High School, and now y'all see me in film, television, all kind of crazy shit, and now I do my interviews every Wednesday, 6 p.m., uh, Los Angeles time. Tonight we have an awesome guest, and I hope she already in the box, because she did talk to my publicist, and she said, uh, let Michael know I'm getting ready, because I'm getting my hair and my makeup on. Let's see if she's ready to go. Let's see. Let's see. <sighs> Miss T.S. Madison. And when she come on, I got to give her 
the proper intro, okay? So y'all come on with me. I think she's coming. I think she's coming right away. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from my house. Thank wait a minute you. now. <laughs> Hold on now, God damn it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to invite wait you. Wait a minute. Wait. I got to introduce you the right way. Hold on, hold okay, on. Come on. Okay, hold on. I got to do this. Wait, wait, wait. All right, wait, wait. I got to cut this fan off. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I saw this thing. I saw this lady uh, on TV on RuPaul's show, and she was using <laughs> your line. I think her name is Ganache. Something Ganache. Wait a minute. Silky Ganache. Uh -huh. Silky Nutmeg uh -huh. Ganache. Yeah. And she won, and she kept talking about, well, uh, if you don't have at least 22 inches, you You're are a bitch. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So I went today and went and got 32 inches. Look at my oh, shit. Oh, you got 32 inches. Damn. Look at my shit. A, damn. It. A bad and, girl, let me tell you something. I ain't had this shit on for five minutes. I'm already sweating like R. Kelly in the playground. You hear me? <laughs> this motherfucker hot. Hey, y'all, get your hands together for an influencer, for an actress. I didn't know she was a comedian until I watched her do the Queen's Supreme Court. She's funny as fuck. She mm -hmm. makes it happen. She's got a huge following. She knows everybody. And she's uh -huh. funny and she's real. Get your hands together for Miss T.S. Madison. Put your hands together. Put your motherfucking hands together for a bitch. For a real bitch. Out that's, here. Right, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. I'm so, I'm so honored to have you here. Thank you, baby. Listen, you talking about something. You honor. I am extremely honored. You know, you 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 know, use a use a use a big use a big name out there. I'm just trying to get my feet wet. You feel uh, me? She, I want to get my feet wet like you get your feet wet. You well, got now, over listen, a half a million people following you. What, what what did you do? How do you make that happen? I ran through the backyard naked and told the people that they <laughs> were chasing me. <laughs> You put on the wig, you put that wig up, and you take all them clothes off and, and put your track shoes on and run your ass through the backyard naked, honey. You gonna get half a million motherfuckers following your, following your ass. Them numbers going up, huh? And all the way up, I'm honey. I'm tempted to do that shit. I want the numbers that bad. I might. Listen, the numbers gonna go up on a Tuesday, okay? <laughs> I love you. You are, you are just joyful energy. You know, I mean, I've watched like maybe 30 things that you you've did. done. And in each thing, you just power, like light, just joke, right, just yeah. comedy, just fun. Oh, the titties are fabulous. Come yeah. on now. The titties yeah, you are know. off the chain. And that's I'm high my titties tonight. I'm high on them tonight. Listen, uh, what, the, what you going to do with that wig when you get through with it? Can you put it through the screen let me have it? I, I, I know one thing. I'm taking it off right now. Though. Slide oh, that my. bitch on. I, oh, on. Lord. Oh. Woo. oh, my God. Well, look, look. I wouldn't spend money on this bitch today, look. <laughs> that big ass me. When I saw you do that 22 inches or you ball bitch, I said I'm going. Hey, that's my baby. What's her mom? Uh, oh, they said the Maddie Mob is in the house. Yeah, the Maddie Mob in the building. You the already Maddie know Mob is in the house. Woo 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 woo. woo, woo. The I Maddie just, Mob in here. I just want to be able to roll like you while you're doing this show. You Listen, know? man, you done did all kind of legendary shit. You done did house <laughs> party. You done did, man, you done did everything, man. I'm everything. having fun. You done I'm did having... poetic justice. How was it? What was it like looking at? What was it like looking at Janet Jackson's ass when it was? Did you look at it? Fabulous. Oh, I looked. I ain't gonna be there and not look. Couldn't touch. Couldn't get close to her. You know, back then, uh, she had a lot of security. You know, but. I hung with all the folks. Like Tupac was so cool, so down to earth. You know what I'm saying? Of course, uh, Joe Torre was cool as hell. So and, and Regina King was cool. Janet was cool, but you couldn't really get near her. You know, she always like stayed, you know, in her little cabin, or she do go to the set. But when she walked past you, she spoke to you. She, well, she was you, cool. Well, she was well, sweet. Listen, when she spoke to you, did you hear? Did she say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this. What? What, bitch? What? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love say? it. Hi. Well, here's my first question. We were trying to figure out what the hell did T does TS mean when you say TS cap? My my wife said it meant uh top side. And I said, no, you don't look like you top side, look like you more like the bottom side, but then that'd be BS, which would be bullshit. So it couldn't be that. What is it? 
Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can mean, a, it, it mean a whole lot of stuff. But for me, it means, you know, uh, too much stuff, talking shit. <laughs> it means um, <laughs> tropical storm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little storm. But you make me mad, I turn into a hurricane like a motherfucker on your ass. You I, know? Love I love but it. I love it. it what, the, the general term, like back in the day when, when I uh, was uh, – involved in um lewd and lascivious acts in the job when i was in, when mm -hmm. i was playing with the dark arts you know because back in the day i used to play i used to play in the dark arts i used to play with wands okay you know yes harry potter magic dog i arts, see okay and it would we would have to distinguish you know who was the witch and who was the warlock so that meant honey the witches was the, oh. the, the warlocks honey had the wands so you know it's very much so t -t ts means transsexual so you were, okay, and that's funny because my publicist, I want to give her a shout out, Pam. That's uh, my Pam girl, Broussard, Pam. She said she thought that's what it meant. I said, well, I don't, I don't believe that because that's like you identifying yourself. I never heard anybody say, hi, I'm gay Bob. So I was well, like. Well, see, for me, like we had to distinguish or who was selling cock and who was selling pussy. Oh, You know, well, wait a okay. minute, hold on, I, I kind of made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of fucked that one up because I was selling both of them motherfuckers. Come on, just trying to figure out who was um, who was uh, who was genetic and who was um, you know, uh, you know, man-made. And you know, I I don't mind. See, I'm, I'm I... now. I gotta tell you this. Tell me, tell me. With me, you can do a lot of joking. You can joke about stuff with me, but like with the with 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 the whole trans uh whole trans thing, the whole trans movement, Gabby, it's it's very delicate. It's sensitive. It's very delicate. It's very sensitive and stuff okay. like that, you know. And I I myself have gotten in, in lots of hot water because I'm I'm a com I'm I, everything is is comedic for me, so I can do a play on. Well, honey, you get what I'm saying. I know what kind of chick I am. I'm a chick with a stick. If you like to lick a chico stick, I'm the bitch to call. You know, that's right. That's right. There are girls that may not make that type of joke because, you know, it, it, it's very sensitive for them. So for me, it's right. not that sensitive. So you can, you ain't got to treat me delicate, honey. You get right on in, stick the dick in, and see if the doo doo come out, bitch. I'm <laughs> <gonna do that. laughs> you know, and, and I a similar thing for me is that I'm an addict. I'm a crackhead. So I did crack 23 years. I have nine years sobriety. But I go to meetings, but I ain't anonymous. You know, you're supposed to be anonymous. I, I talk about the shit everywhere. They don't like it because I don't give a fuck. Every place I go, I tell people I'm an addict because I feel like if you're an addict and you're struggling with it and you see I got to the other side, that helps you. So right. I'm not keeping it to myself. So it's right. kind of similar in what you just go ahead and do your thing. Yeah. Listen, and you I say I can ask with... anything. Here's the big question. I don't give a fuck whether you accept me or not. You get what I'm saying? It's up to you because I can't change me. It's up to you if you're going to deal with me or, or you're not. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And at the end of the day, I, I talk so freely and heavily about my past is because I I've, I've been delivered from that, truly delivered from that. Okay. You know, not like that yeah. Pentecostal queen that was over that time I she was delivered. But you know, that's... <laughs> but I've, been, I've truly been, you know, delivered from that. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it gives a person that's looking at me an opportunity to say, hey, you know, I may I may not want to be held down by the, the strings of, of sex work and right. uh, or, 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 or the adult entertainment industry. I may not want to be held down by that. I might right. want to see if there's, you know, something else for me to do. And here's an example of it right here. And so I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm with it. So, you know, so you that's are, why I'm very open about you it. You are a wonderful, positive example of how you can go ahead and live your life. You know, mm -hmm. whatever cho choices you have made, you have chose to be you and your authentic self. And you live your life, man. You're doing these shows. You're writing books. Yeah. What was the movie you did? What was the movie well, called? I did this movie. I, I, I've, done a, I've done a couple. Wait a minute. Which movies you talking about? The ones on dot .com or the, which ones? Hold on. Wait. No, don't, no, don't, don't read off the paper because I got so many movies. You talking, about, you, you talking about three the hard way or six the fast way? No, trans me. Oh, okay. I've done it. Oh, what, 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 where you go? Where you go? I thought you was talking about three the hard way or six the fast way. I oh, thought you were no, no, movies. no. Okay, mm -mm. I'm sorry. Because I could tell you about those movies, you know. Okay. So I did some things. No, uh, it's a movie called Trans Me. It hasn't came out yet. Um, it's, uh, 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 it, it's a story based off mm -hmm. of the uh, Pulse nightclub incidents uh, that transpired back in... Um, 
oh my God, what year was that when the uh, person mm -hmm. came in to to to, to Pulse and, and killed all those people? Oh wow! Um, in the Pulse nightclub, so it's based off that, and um, loosely, loosely based off that. But I've I've done I've I've appeared in a, in a few other movies. Like I've done a movie that's coming out. It was just about to get ready to come out uh -huh. um, due to. Um, the COVID nineteen uh, crisis that we're, we're everybody pandemic up. that we fucked everything fucked up. everything up. Um, uh, it's a movie called Zola that I'm in. You ever? It's uh, Zola uh, Neil Hurston. No, Zola. It's about that that Twitter feed that went viral, um, maybe a few years back. Of, um, and um, the girl was a she was a stripper, uh -huh. and it went viral. Like it was somebody got killed or whatever. But it it's it, it's a, it's a movie. It's already been previewed at the Sundance um, Film Festival, and according to I, I had to go look because I haven't seen it yet. Okay. But according to um, uh, God, who was that did a review on it? I think it was uh, hold on because I posted it on my page. They said that uh, you know, my little part that I had was a very standout part. Nice, but you so didn't I'm play waiting Zola. to see it. But the, but the COVID nineteen, the the COVID nineteen caused that shit to. You know, because they had texted me, messaged me about doing the, the press for it, and I didn't uh -huh. get an opportunity to even really get no to do no press and stuff for it because this shit just did the nineteen. But I'm excited for it because it was it's a, I, it's a good little part I got in it. It's gonna make people really really laugh and love me. Well, that's good. I think people already laugh and love you, and I, I and that's why I was mentioning it trans me because I know you did the porno movies. I love. BigDickBitch.com. I mean, that <laughs> title alone, I don't know where you came up with that title, but who's not going to want to see what the hell is going on in a movie called Big Dick Bitch? Listen, I'm going to click on to see who, what bitch, try, who, what bitch done stole my motherfucking name. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, hold on. It's, uh, let me see. It, uh, who reviewed the movie? Yeah, I'm trying to see. Um, yeah, it was at Sundance, and, and get, uh, what you call it, did a shout-out on it. I got to find it, child. It's, on, it's so much shit on my Instagram. Um, but it was... But, but ain't I'm that so great? I'm so excited for it because that was kind of like my big film, little big film break that I was like... Yeah. And, and, and I'm not going to lie to you. On the set, you know, I went on the set, and uh, huh? you know how movie sets go because mm -hmm. you've been in so many. Well, a couple. Oh, so many. <laughs> I, I fell on the movie set. Okay. I fell. Did you I had sue? I stripper shoes. I fell. I tore those people's shoes. I'm surprised they didn't take it out of my check. You know how I turn said, you're going to be fire. Oh, wow. Fire your ass. I fell on the set, and the people on the set were running around trying to figure out how. And Essence. Essence gave me a shout out. Essence saw it. Okay. Yeah, and they, and they were trying to figure out how the hell did this bitch fall down on the damn. <laughs> they weren't worried you was going to sue? Well, they thought, you know, that's why they was trying to get my, they, that's why they was trying to, uh, they was they were tapping me all on the head. I mean, tapping me up. I bust my ass in those high ass shoes, but I wouldn't have dared done that. You know, they paid me very well. They paid me very well for my, for my, for my part. Right. And, um, Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Uh, hold on. Thank you guys for telling me that it was Essence. Um, okay. They, uh, they, uh, it, it was a good thing on, on my part, you know, that I didn't, you know, sue or nothing like that or whatever, because I wasn't going to sue them. Shit, they, 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 they paid me good. I bust there you ass. go. And you have, to, you have to pick and choose when you're going to do shit anyway. You don't want to be suing the folks uh -huh. who lining then, you listen, up to have a I big bust, career. I, I thought I was the shit walking through there with my titties up. <laughs> you know, so I bust, I bust, uh, bust my ass. Have you ever bust your ass on set? No, I never fell down, uh, but I wouldn't sue if I fell down just because I want to keep coming back, you know? I mean, unless it was some crazy shit. You know, like my friend George Wallace, he fell down on a wire at the hotel where he was doing his show. They, the, they had put wire on, on the ground across the stage. He tripped and broke his ankle, sued, and made a grip. At certain times, you do it, but if it ain't if it didn't kill you, if it don't hurt you, get your ass up and do them lines, because that's going to be a bigger <laughs> role coming, and they're going to see you a trooper. 
They gonna yeah, see you yeah. ain't crying every time you break a nail, you know. <laughs> Let me ask you this. You said I can ask anything. So you anything. still you still have your original equipment. Yes, I do. I so I'm just gonna ask, why you keep the dick? If you decided well, I, 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 I kept the dick, and I, I, I think I've asked this, answered this question in a way the other day that made me realize, like, you know, it, it brought it back to my I, this is me. So everybody, okay. ladies and gentlemen, that are out there watching, okay? Okay. This is the reason why I, T.S. Madison, kept mine. Okay. I kept my piece because I felt like it kept me, and y'all don't think I'm crazy, I felt it kept a connection to me and God. Huh. That's my reasoning behind it. And wait, it. tell me this. Why do you feel that? Do you feel because that is a part of the original you? I do. Okay. Okay. I do. All right. I do. That's, a, that's a great answer. But that's it's, it's, because it's my, it's, but, 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 but that's my, that's my, that's my, that's my feelings of what I And it's I your guess. truth. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, and plus, Hell, I like to get my dick sucked. Don't you like to get your dick sucked? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma'am. Thank you, you for thank you for asking that question in public. Yes, I do. And <laughs> and I just want to say as we're talking that me and you had a pre-conversation before we came in here. We text. So you already said I could ask you questions. So Anything, I don't mean listen. I know you cool with it, but for viewers, I don't want viewers to think that I'm disrespecting you. If you happen right, to be trans right. or anything, that ain't about y'all. I'm just talking. Me and and Sister Madison, right, 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 that. and you know this why, and that's why I keep making a disclaimer because I need the people to understand that, like, I'm open about this. I, I'm open. I joke about it, mm -hmm. and and when people like, I don't look, I don't look anything like I have a dick. Have you have you looked at this face? I, I would have never guessed it. I would have never, except you know, I, I went to take just a quick peek um, at the movies that you started doing, and I was like, oh Lord, I can't, so, I can't do right. it. I can't watch no more. Uh, so I don't, I don't look like that. So there no, are times that when people find out, and, and I just had this conversation on my morning show this morning, and I asked, um, I, I told people, I said, well, I'm not one that gets offended too heavy about that. However, you shouldn't, you know, really go around asking trans people, do they have, um, you should, you sh what they have. But when people get fascinated by like, I know I'm a pretty bitch. So this be like, damn, you, you got to. You, yeah, you want to. You want to. You look beautiful. It. You know. No, you look beautiful. I, that's gonna be my next. Not, not to you, because I know I'm not gonna uh -huh. ask you that. But I just listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Born in Miami, 1977. What was it? October 22nd. October 22nd. I am a Libra. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. I'm on the cusp of a Libra and a Scorpio. Oh, so wow. I got a lot of Libra in me, but I got a Spangler. Wait a yes. minute, hold on. In, in, in the literal sense, I got a, a Spangler. Spangler. So, so how old were you when you either decided or realized that you wanted to be who you are now? Did you um, want to be trans? Um, honestly, I think there's something that's just like within, but you start this, you you start uh, uh, discovering yourself. You start mm -hmm. discovering yourself when you start to see things in the media that, that you can associate with. Because mm -hmm. usually when you're growing up, you don't have anything. Especially, I was raised in the church. Okay. I was raised, you know, okay. under God and things like that. And, you know, yeah. so my first hearings of what I felt on the inside was hell damnation. Like, you know, you're going to go to hell. Right, can't do that. that. And then, you know, then you have suspecting people in your family who think, and you know, you know, older generations say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and you see them making these gestures and saying this stuff and you, you really, you, you shun from it and you're scared and you don't want this to be what, what you, cause you don't, you really don't understand any of what that is. You, you have no idea what that is. You just know that this is, you know, you different. And right. When you when you finally make a connection to something that you might see, like the first represent the first type of representation that I saw of myself was RuPaul. That was the first representation, but okay. it really wasn't the it really wasn't the total the total thing for me. Like RuPaul okay. was the first thing on television that I saw that was remotely close to you know what you know I was like oh my god I love RuPaul, but when I, the connection for me came. When I watched the movie, <laughs> The Crying Game. Oh, love The Crying Game. With Forrest, Forrest Whitaker. With Forrest Whitaker, hey, yes. I, I actually, wait a minute, I got... 
love the crying game. And yeah. what a surprise. You didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. No, you didn't see it coming. And when you sat there and it came, you went, what? Great there move. It, boom. The crying game. So I have it. It's one yes. of my favorites. The crying game. Wow. And, and for me, when it came, when it happened, I was like, that's it. That's it. That's the feeling you had and didn't quite couldn't put it. your finger on it. I was like, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That is it. That's wow. It. So by that's how old it. were you? How old were you around then? Child, what year this movie came out, my God, today? Uh, that must have came out like 80. No, 90. Uh, it's, it's just 92. Oh, 92. Okay. I think it's just 92, somewhere around 1992. And that's when you when you really make the connection, mm -hmm. like you know early, right? But it's when you when you make the connection, right? It's like ah, I get it. That's what it is, you know. And then you start moving forward into trying to and, and like in ninety two hours, fifteen fifteen. 15 oh wow. So you're yeah. still a teenager. 56. Yeah, like I was, th yeah, I think I was 15, yeah, 96. I was, yeah, I was like 15 years old. Huh. But you start making the, it's, it, you, 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 it's, it start, the dot starts, you know, to, to connect. So like, how important, and I, I already know the answer, but I want to hear from you. How important is your mother's acceptance of who you are, because your mother, Miss Mary, seemed to be a very, very big part of your life. Yeah, she's a huge part of my. Of, she's a huge part of my whole cycle, and it's it's um, it's very important to me. Mm -hmm. It's very important because you know my father is is a uh, my father is an addict. He's a, okay. he's, a he, he, he's he's a he's a drug abuser. Okay, and um, he he's not like yourself, like trying to get mm -hmm. himself clean or whatever. He's a high functioning mother okay. i will cut them out but so i really didn't mm -hmm. get an opportunity that has that wasn't a, a person a figure in my life however mm -hmm. my grandfather was a was a huge male figure in my life like man, like right. taught me you know majority of everything so you know but my mother being in the church and raising me in the church and raising me up on the on, on, on christian stuff mm -hmm. it's it was it, it it gets difficult because you know you also have the faith that she has because it's embedded in you. Right, right. So, you know, it, it becomes a test of her faith. It mm. becomes a test of yours, or whatever. But I was willing to make the sacrifice and say to myself, like, hey, it's either me or me. And I would leave because I, my whole goal before it exploded out was <laughs> for me to live my life quietly, mm -hmm. move, move away, Mm -hmm. And then come back and introduce the new me. Oh, however, okay. however, it didn't work like that. It didn't work out like that. It didn't. It just, I started changing. They noticed me uh, shaving off my eyebrows and stuff like that. And, you know, and then they would hear word out in the street that I had on those little Kim wigs. You know, <laughs> you know this, was, this, was not, this was 90 something, you know, you know. I got on look him wigs, I mean, you know, I, all out of this trying to look like look him and, you know, this yeah. type of stuff. So you hear this stuff in the street and it was very hurtful for my mother. That was, that was a very hurtful thing, you know, and mm. she still has to go through, you know, little stuff in her because she said it's like her, her son died. Mm. She said, like, like mm. she, had to mourn, she had to mourn the death of her son. Wow. But, you know, here I go. Boom. Is your you mother know? there? Huh? Is your mother with you right now? Yes, yeah, she can hear you. Can I see her? Well, she ain't got no wig on. You can oh. pass that wig. <laughs> you said I pass that wig over there. <laughs> she said no, that she can hear. She can hear you. Let me so. show you this. That's my Miss Mary. That's my mama. Her hey, name mama. is Mary as well. Yes. Yep, Mary Lena. That's my mama. Oh, so your mama name is Mary Lena. Yep, that's my Mary, my Miss Mary. And she means everything. You know, you need some support from family like that to help you stand up and be who you really are, you know? Well, you you need that because, li listen, and I try to tell people all the time that, like, don't throw your kids out to the world because the world mm -hmm. is going to eat them up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like, mm -hmm. like you that we already have to go through this stuff out in society. We need at least somebody to have our their are their arms around us going through this world. And when you when you when you feed your kids out there to the world, they will get devoured. And people don't mm -hmm. really understand the power of sexuality, sexual orientation, gender identity, and things of that nature because you got to look at how strong it is. People will kill you or themselves about mm -hmm. sexual identity, gender identity, sexual yeah. orientation. They will kill themselves or they will kill you. So you have to understand how, and, and I think that we as African-American people, because I can only speak from that experience because I'm black. Right. We tend to look at that in a way of, you ain't gonna be boy. Go out there and be a man. You you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Man up, nigga. You know, when mm -hmm. all that you don't really know what a person is struggling with on the inside, and this is why the suicide rate is very high with with trans kids and 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 and, and black LBGT people because mm -hmm. this is struggle, especially with the thought in the brain. You don't want to displease your parent. You don't want to displease God because majority of us is raised in the church. Right, you right. These are things. That, but when do you have an opportunity to get to understand and know yourself? Wow. People don't be looking at it from that perspective. You get what I'm saying? And like, I, and this is a journey that, that, that you go on and sometimes you, you really walk that journey alone. Yeah. So when you get that love and that acceptance, well, I don't think, I, I don't think it's about acceptance for me. I think it's about respect because mm -hmm. here's the thing. My mother is just now getting into a space where she's comfortable with, you know, communicating with me with pronouns like she, right. her, right. hers. Because, and, <clears throat> and, and here's the thing. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to feel some kind of way towards my mom about that, about her growing and evolving into that because I was her son first. Right. Right. So, but she does respect me enough, right? You know, to 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 grow into that, like to grow into, you know, respecting. And you enough. respect that that is is still an abnormality for her, because of how she is raised and her background, spirituality. But for her to start accepting you and opening up to you, it's a tender thing. It's just something that takes it's a tender, little time. It's very tender. It's yeah. very delicate. However. Right. I have to respect and commend my mother for even stepping out on that because her faith is very strong in the one. Mm -hmm. like her faith is very strong. It's unshakable. Right, right. And, 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 and that has to be a challenge for her to believe, you know, what, what she believes in and to be fully committed and rooted into, you know, you know her, her, her connection with God but then this is a challenge for her. This, this, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm a big challenge in her faith. Right, right, right. Wow, wow. I want to go on here because you got a bunch of folks who have questions, and let's, <laughs> let's see what they're asking. Uh, someone said, "Ask you, do you date?" <laughs> well, honey. It's so many definitions of the word date, baby. <laughs> you start saying date to me, I'm going to be like, honey, well, the fee is, you know. <laughs> uh, no, be, uh, I, haven't, I haven't dated in a very long time. Uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, at this point, I have been, I, want, I, I, I would say that I've been abstinent. However, I have pulled some, I have pulled some panties to the side. You get what I'm saying? Maybe a right. couple of months back here, maybe two months ago, I pulled. They wasn't my panties; they were his. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, and so, you know, um, but I haven't, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't been penetrated. I haven't had any. Um, any sexual, I have, I, and that's what I love. I love to be penetrated, honey. I love to be, I love to bottom. In the relationship, I'd be a verse bottom. But you were just saying you haven't been penetrated since when? Oh, it's been a couple of years now. What? 
Oh, then that means you and got I, listen, that shit. I, re I really enjoy that. I, that's something I enjoy, honey, because I know where the G spot at. You may not have never had your G spot, <laughs> at, but I know where the G spot at. It's up under the max, honey. <laughs> <laughs> So someone said, would you ever do a TED Talk? I would love to do a TED Talk, yeah. Like, do they pay good? Shoot, I don't know if they pay good, but with you doing it, with the type of following you have, you're yeah. following with quadruple and... Yeah, I'd love, to do, I'd love to do a TED Talk. I, listen, I had a, I, we did a mock TED Talk. I was on a, a, the show called The Read um, okay. earlier in, a, a, well, the ending out of, what was it, earlier? I don't, in 2019, I was mm -hmm. on a show called The Read, and we mm -hmm. did like a little a, a TED Talk thing about titties. You know, it was about titties. Okay. Okay. You know, um, uh, I think Dustin, Dustin, Dustin Ross wrote that piece, or somebody wrote that piece. I think it was Dustin, and it was so funny because you know, it, it was funny. It was a play on on TED Talk or whatever. But I would love to do TED Talk. Sure. I, I I'm just wrote this down. Do I was thinking of title. Why I'm cool with who I am. Right. And I sort of think, I think it would be easy for you to do that as a TED Talk, you know? And um, I, if it's any way I can help you figure out how to do it, I'd like to because I think that for trans kids and trans youth, and, you know, some people will say, my kids shouldn't be no trans. Or oh, well, maybe they shouldn't be or whatever, but the fuck, they are. And they exist. Yeah. And, and a lot of them exist in a vacuum, and that's why there's so many suicides, because they yeah. don't have nobody else they can look up to. They don't have no examples, so they're stuck, and that's where the fear and danger comes in. When I look at you, I, I applaud who you are standing in your truth, because there's so many young people who want to be able to be open, to be able to take a breath of air and not be frightened every day, want to get to the point where they can get their mamas to open their hearts and to embrace them so that they can live. They just want to live. And well, well, you can well, be a be good honest, example. It's, not an, it's really not an easy thing. It, it's just that sometimes you have to put your foot down and you have to stand on. It's the, the literal term, it's either me or you. And it's mm. going to have to be me. Mm. It's going to have to be me because I can't go through this world. And, and, and I, I see so many men and so many uh, other, so many men, and so many gay identified people have gotten themselves in a situation. Now, there are gay people that, that, you know, they swap a little bit. You know, they like, they may have a little good sex you know, with the with the uh, with the uh, opposite sex, and they right, do for right, it. right. And there there's some gay kid, gay people that want to have children the the the, the natural way and not uh -huh. any, um, you know. So I'm um, this is no shade to them, right. but for me, I wasn't finna stick my dick in no woman and have no kids with her and fuck up her life down the road and end up at 92 years old being a Caitlyn, you know. But that's Caitlyn's mm -hmm. story, right? Be, you know. <laughs> That's Caitlin's story. That's, that's Caitlin's story. That's not mine. That was not going to be mine. I knew who I was and what it was going to be. And then when, when, because when I watched Caitlin, Caitlin Jenner's story, I'm like, uh -huh. yeah. even though she's not, she's not uh, uh, ashamed or embarrassed about her kids. It's just that she took so long and 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 she put everybody in front of in front of uh, uh, herself. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and it got all the way down to uh, this, to to this to she's where she is now, and then it's like, okay, I'm a transition. Hi guys, hi. Right. Hey everybody, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hi guys, it's me, Caitlin. And, and and as much as you know, as much as flaws as Caitlin had in 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 her public transition and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. Caitlin kind of became, you know, uh, uh, used as the face of, you know, trans, the trans movement and the mm -hmm. trans uh, conversation and stuff like that. Uh, she was necessary. She was necessary to, you know, get the ball rolling mm -hmm. for people to, to, you know, understand stuff about, about uh, trans. I, I, even though I give her a hard time, I give her a hard time because the bitch went down there and voted for Trump and we told that stupid ass white hoe Bitch, that you need to have your shit together and understand That's that right. you, at the end of the day, you's a trans girl. They don't give a fuck. You you voting for this motherfucker.
motherfucker on the on the strip of being a, a white man, girl. You that that white man is dead. That's right. That's you right. You a white woman now, girl. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> and you know, but you know, at the end of the day, I give her a hard time. However, her presence and her existence was necessary for for the movement mm -hmm. to you know cross because at first it was Laverne. You know, Laverne Cox was before, right. Laverne Cox was before Laverne Cox was a, was really a big was really a big uh, figure. Well, she still mm -hmm. is. She still is mm -hmm. a big figure in the movement. However, the when it when she was a part of the transgender tipping point, and when she came out, I kind of like was on that end too. Like, but I was just on the bad end because I was the one that was running through the backyard naked and coming to the door saying, "Come on in." <laughs> they, they so, so the trans community kind of saw me as a as a. Uh, as a detriment to the to the movement because it was just like, hey, we're here, we're we're here, we're here, we're who we are, and you know we don't want to be made fun of, and it and it, and, it, and it seemed as as though that I was you know going against what they were really trying to stand for when really it wasn't. It was me just at that time in my life. I was out there trying to, you know, hustle up money to pay for, I mean, to make bigdivish.com. That's that's where I was making my money. Right. So, right. so, I ran through the house, through the, through the yard neck and tell them to come on, join BigDayBitch.com. But I, what I didn't know is that I was also a part of the transgender uh, 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 move, movement. Like, I didn't yeah. know that at the time. I just was in it trying to make money. And I was letting those advocate girls be advocates. But you I didn't realize? I was blossom and transition over into that. I didn't know that my voice... Yeah, I thought that my did. voice didn't matter. I, I thought it didn't matter because I was so heavily scrutinized for being a sex worker, being a part of the right. uh, um, underground everything, you know. So here I am today. Okay. Someone asked, how do you tell someone that you are transgender? How do you let someone know that you're interested about being trans? And how do you bring it up? Um, well, me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 43 years old this, mm -hmm. this year. I ain't got the time. So when a man is interested, I have to let him know. I have to tap him on his shoulder and say, hey, listen, I like to joust. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to joust, nigga? Like to joust. <laughs> Do you know how to joust? I'm wow. a sword fight type of girl, bitch. So, you know, what we going to do? Have you ever played He-Man and wow. shit, bitch? You know, but no, honestly, uh, I, I I I try my best to uh, be very, because it it get, it can be a little difficult, especially when you like a guy or, or, mm -hmm. or, or for gentleman is trying to court you, right? And he's um, you know, interested, and and, and you don't really want to lose that interest, you know. But I've come to figure out that I I got a succubus attached to me. A what? A succubus. The eye is silent. I suck, you bust. You <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> the, the, the eye is silent. But, okay. you know, I, 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 I've always had like a, I felt like I've had a sexual spirit attached to me. Like, you know, and when I pull a man, when I pull a man, mama, why are you looking at me like that, girl? When I pull a man and, and a man is really like so deep down into it, I'd look deep in his eyes and I tell him, hey, how do you like your girls? Do you, do you like your girls like you like your chicken? Bone in or boneless? <laughs> <laughs> and if a man tell me he like boneless Wait, chicken. You a bone in chicken? Oh, I'm a bone. I'm a, bone, I'm a chicken on the bone. I'm a bone in chicken. <laughs> Wait, so you're getting a lot of beautiful compliments about how beautiful you are and how beautiful Miss Mary is. And I saw your mom and I wasn't She ain't got a wig on. I would have told, told her to looked, slide over here, baby. But she ain't got on a wig, honey. She was but like, she looked young mom. like you. Yeah. I saw the picture and I was like, wait, is this her mother or this yeah, her that's sister? Mommy. My mother is my mother had me when she was young. So it was just like it was a, it was she was a, she was a very grown grown up for her age like she had me when she was 15 years old when did you have me mom if you do the age it's she had me young it wasn't it wasn't something that she planned on doing it just happened and i think that she grew up 
Wow. Like grew like I kind of grew up with my mother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So kinda she your best up. friend? That's my good girlfriend, honey. I don't tell her <laughs> everything. I hey, tell wait. Her almost everything. What about I don't this Craig her. dude? That dude is funny as hell. I saw you him like on my the... Craig. My he Craig. was so funny. Listen, I, and, and I get a chance to Jones on Craig because Craig is my showrunner for my show, The Queen Supreme Court. And I get a chance to Jones on. I love him. I love him. I love him to death. Um, he came in and uh, he he. He fixed it to where, you know, got me some, got me a little organized and stuff uh -huh, like that uh -huh. or whatever, you know. And I always make this joke. This is a new joke I got for him. Because, right. you know, he done, he done got all this money since he was a... a showrunner? No, the, not the showrunner. That too. But since he was the... Uh, since all this COVID-19 stuff done come in, he done filed unemployment. Got oh. all kind of <laughs> and, and listen, you know, here's what we used to call uh, feminine... Uh, 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 we call men uh, blouses. That's like a feminine top. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I used to say, I told him this morning, I said, Craig, you was a Target top, like a top you get from Target. Right. Now you just got all this money. Now you a Bloomingdale blouse. That's <laughs> old fella. Can I talk to you about some of the fights you're having out here? Yeah, come on. So so, what happened with your manager, Gio? Y'all fell out. What? I was well, watching here's this the dude thing. named Armand talking about it yesterday. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. This was Gio's perception of me was his, and that's that's mm -hmm. that's. I, I I I haven't bad mouthed him since he walked out and and chose to make his decision to leave. You know, okay. and I ain't gonna bad mouth him now. Don't. And and here's the thing. If I if have I been a perfect boss? No, ain't no boss perfect. Mm -hmm. Has he been a perfect manager? No, he's not mm -hmm. been a perfect manager. Yeah. Did he do his job when he when it was time for him to do his job? Yes, he did his job. Mm -hmm. You know, and, okay. and and he had he has whatever discrepancies he have has with me. Um, since we've separated, I wish him the best in all of his endeavors. All right, uh, Armand. Armand has uh made disparaging videos about me however i had to go back and i had to search see here's the thing about me uh -huh. i have to go back and i have to search like if, if 15 people look people are coming out against you mm -hmm. and they they saying these things about you you got to be a real ass bitch mm -hmm. and sit down and be like let me listen and actually hear what these people are saying about me and reevaluate myself and see right. Right. Where, where's the flaw right. where's the where, where's the where is the flaw with me to cause this rift in right. in this right. situation mm -hmm. and and the thing about it is I, I might not have been the greatest friend and it, and 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 it, and, and it could have you know it it might have mm -hmm. made him feel some type of way about me and you know Mm -hmm. I've extended my hand and say, hey, let me take responsibility for anything that I done did you wrong. Because my mother told me, boo, the Bible says deal with your adversaries quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a Libra. That This is the Libra part of me. Mm -hmm. I don't like a lot of confrontation. And sometimes I might not jump on the first thing that happens. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm not confront it when it first happens and sometimes things can can fester and you let it grow and it becomes a sore and, and you know so I okay done, I, done, I done went to, i done tried to solve you didn't moved on. What's going on you've moved on you processed yeah, yeah. it and listen i don't I, I don't forgave i've communicated with armand i don't communicate with him you know i don't have a problem with, i don't i don't you know i don't like a lot of the things that he did, you know, you know, online. He but I, he was angry, and that's no excuse. But I don't right. like a lot of the stuff that happened, you know, because I felt like I don't like that public stuff from friends. Like I'm never, I'm I'm not gonna go and get online and be fussing and arguing. But I'm not gonna hold that. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Wait, I gotta read this. Per this person wrote, "I love you, Madison." Wait. Oh God, it disappeared. Where's it at? Where's that? It said, I love you, Madison. I used to think that I was trans. And they said they used to think that they were trans, but now they don't. 
I'm not sure what they were saying. Them words flew out of here before I could read them. They were really good, though, girl. The shit was juicy. <laughs> I'm about to jump in there because the shit was juicy. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, wow. It it got away. Okay. That, that got away from me, so I ain't going to worry about that. Let's move that out the way. Let's get on back down to where we were. Again, childish manipulating this audience with it, with public beef. I, I, almost every other sentence is "I love you, Madison." That's I almost. love. Listen, I love my. I listen. I love my fan base. My fan base is a is a lifeline to me, and I want them to know that because I my fan base. I don't have to. I don't sell coochie no more. Well, I never was. Really, I, I was never really selling coochie, but you know. <laughs> But it but it came with the package. It came with the package. You know? <laughs> but I, I, my fan base has has really grown with me. Um, they've watched, they've seen me on my roller coasters and stuff of up and down, up and down, up and down. They've seen people come in and out of my life. Like my like I've been on the internet since since two thousand and like five, two thousand six. So I've got fans from fifteen years that have been with me for a very long time. So you know, I, they're my life they're my life force and like I don't care how big I get in the world I'm going to always have a private space where I can entertain my fans in, in my in the, in the private in the private space you know what I'm saying like I love them I, I get on the, on tour I go on tour and they, they pack the rooms out to see me and hell the tickets be t t t them tickets don't be cheap but they come out to see me you know what I'm saying yeah, and, Maddie do you want children ever Oh, you didn't hear me? I couldn't. What you said? I said, do you want children ever? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, can, I can even hear your mama laughing about that. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you about this girl who came in to talk for you named uh, something Cherry. Cherry Boom, Cherry Boom. That's my girl, yeah. She, but her voice was so gravelly. But the voice didn't look like it went with her because she's got this little body. And, and she's, she's like, pretty. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. She's beautiful. But she was like speaking up for you. And she was like, stay off my girl. I was like, yeah, oh, my. I, I, that's my girl. I love her. She Listen, she's listen, she New York. Are, uh, no, she's from down. She's from the south. She's from she's from Tennessee. Okay, okay. Let me tell you something. We all got. We all ain't gonna be blessed with no soft ass voice. Same <laughs> smoking ass grandbabies with with gravelly ass voice. Go in there and get my goddamn cigarette, you motherfucker. Go in there and get my damn cigarettes. You know. So we got old. We got a. We got old chain smoking ass uh, grandbaby named Ernestine somewhere. They with a cigarette in her mouth right now. Boy, go down there and get me up. Got That's right. Like a school menthol. Get your ass somewhere and sit down. So uh, the voice don't make the woman. Tell me this: what is, what is your, what is your supreme dream? I'm talking about what, is, what is your passion? If you could do anything in this whole wide world and people would pay you for it, love you for it, they could, they see you coming. Oh my God, here come Maddie. It, you I'm doing it now. Alarm clock to get up in the morning. You be so excited about life. I, I, I'm I'm doing it now. You doing it right now. You're living your authentic self. I, I'm doing it right now. I get to wake up and minister to the people. Yeah. Uh, min minister to people who watching me, who love me. You know, I get to minister my life, my, mm -hmm. my ups and my downs to mm -hmm. them. I get an opportunity to. Um, Change lives, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I mm -hmm. get the opportunity to be a part of people's, like, growing with people. Uh, I teach people how to make money. It's just, I'm, I'm, I I used to be, back in the day, I used to write down on a piece of paper. This is right. why it's very important that you, and I, I don't know if you do this. You got to write things down and make it plain, like the book say. The book say, write, write it, it down, down and make it plain. Make what it plain. Her two and two. A bike of two and two say, write it down and make it plain. I remember me being young back in the day, writing down, said I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a scientist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a teacher and a scientist were the two things, and I want to be mm -hmm. uh, on TV. These were three things I wrote down. When I go, when I really look back over my life, I have um, 
created a formula. Mm -hmm. Scientists creates formulas, right? Right, right. I've created a formula on how to tell people how to get it, where to get it, when to get it, how to do it. And also with this formula, I'm teaching them. So I'm a teacher and boom, I'm on the worldwide internet, which is the new TV. Boom. The information highway. Everybody's yeah, yeah. watching. Wow. You know, I want to go back to a question you asked me earlier. Okay. You asked me about children. Yes. Uh, I'm not a big thing on responsibility like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm answering the question. I'm answering Did your the question, mama though. say true? <laughs> I'm not big for like I I I I don't like anything tying me down, and this is possibly why I don't got no man. Cause I don't like okay. nothing tying me down. I don't like anything questioning me. Mm -hmm. I don't like anything asking me my whereabouts, when, what, where, and how. I don't like anything having power over me like that. So with me saying that, children is the biggest. I, I, all parents, I commend you. I, yeah, I bow to parents and dog owners. And dog <laughs> when I got to go, when I got to pee, I get up and pee. I can't be calculating when this motherfucking dog got to pee. I, ain't, I don't even want no dog. That's right. You know, and I can't be over here. I barely want to feed my big ass. I want my mama to be in there frying bacon and saltine for me to be able to get up and feed some cheering. You know, I don't want that type of responsibility. Maybe when I get older down the line, maybe if God bless me to see 55, 50, something mm -hmm. in that place you may have a change I of heart might consider it and i might consider getting married in that area around about 50. okay, okay i gotta stop you because we ain't got but a little time left i gotta tell you this so many people said how beautiful you are the Thank whole you. time this thing was going they talked about how beautiful your hair is they talked about how beautiful your spirit is i want to talk about how how beautiful your mind is you know and that you're thinking in terms of also helping other people and standing as an example to folks who also have to make it through this life and figure it out. They have to navigate these waters. And when they can look at you and say, hey, I'm different too, but I can be different and I can be happy and I can be bold and I can be great. So you set as a very, very great example to people. And I really, really appreciate that. I applaud that. I salute that you know, from you. And um, we only got like three or four minutes left because I thought, this was going to be hard to get through, but we've been moving like that, you know? Well, and so I, I want I, you to minute, say... Hold on. You uh -huh. think because I got this Tupperware in my ass, it was going to be hard to get through? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a great, great person. Tell the people the last thing you want them to know. What are you doing? Where can they find you? Well, I'm, I'm sitting over here, um, <laughs> you know, quarantining in the COVID-19. And when the COVID-19 is over, I don't know what the hell going on. You just got to keep your eyes open, honey. You heard some of the rumors. All rumors mm -hmm. ain't true, but some are. And, um, you know, we just you just got to stay tuned to what's going on. You know, the TS has been in your chest for all these years. I'm going to stay in your chest until the good Lord call me home. Yeah. And that's just what it's going to be, you know. And listen, you need to tell the folks out there in California to get me a TED Talk. And we need to put us a comedy special together. We're going to do something for real. I'm not playing I, with you. Listen, and I some people said we should do a movie together. We're going to do something. Me, you, Flame. You know Flame. I, I is love a, Flame Monroe. I, that, that Flame, that's my girl. I love you know? Flame Monroe. Yeah, now, we go girl. way back. That's so, my girl, honey. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I get your information. Tell yeah. people your website, where they can reach you at. Well, you can reach me on, on YouTube. Come on to the tool. YouTube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Engine, baby. Come over there. I got the Queen Supreme Court. I got Maddie in the morning. I got Beyond the Bench. I got the T.S. Madison Chronicles, honey. Yes. I got the Lift the T.I. coming back. I'm the, I got a whole network over there on my channel, you know, until. Well, until, this. Has Until been the COVID-19 tell us mm. that we can get back to the other things that, we, that I got going on. Girl, this has been a plum pleasing pleasure. Swear to God, you're really great. I, I thought it was going to be great, but I had no idea it would be this great. Will you please hug Miss Mary for me? Uh, that, that's right, little sweet potatoes. And take care of yourself. Stay healthy. And I'm going to help you figure out that TED Talk. And I want to do one, too. But Come yours, on. yours will be phenomenal. You would really be able to lift people up. And I, I already wrote the title down. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to stay in touch with you. Tell them your web page. Uh, my web page is the Queen Supreme Court or the Real T.S. Madison. 
And you're if you're looking for some, if you're looking for some dark and in the in the outskirts, it's bigdickbitch.com. <laughs> BigDickBitch.com. I Boom, love it. And baby. I love how you did what you had to do until you could afford to do what you want to do. You Boom. make me proud today. Thank you very much. I'm honored. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank much. you so much for having me. I had a very good time. And inbox me when the shit over with. I'm telling you, I swear I will. God bless you. See you, you too, later. baby. All right, well, baby. Made amazing. <laughs> Thank I'm you. She was amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I, I knew it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good, but it was that good, y'all. Okay, you know, every Wednesday I'm going to be here. Tomorrow, you know, on Thursdays at 1130 in the morning, I'm here and I read books to the children. So I'm going to do like two children book. I'll break out a puppet. I'll do some silly shit. Ain't no cussing on Thursday because I'll be talking to the kids. Next week, I will be here at 3 o'clock uh, with... Russell Simmons, yo. An hour with Russell Simmons right here. Come back. Next, the week after that, Roland Martin. Then Miss Juicy Baby, uh, the reality personality star from um, uh, 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 Ricky Smiley Show. Then Tabitha Brown and then Raheem Dushan. I'm telling you, we rocking it over here. Every 6 p.m. at Wednesday here with the great interviews with Michael Kaya. Please follow me every morning. I get up and do prayer. Facebook live at 7 a.m. and Instagram at 7.15. And we're talking about a uh, uh, Pacific time. We're talking about in the morning, early in the morning here on the West Coast. Get up and pray with me. It's 10 minutes of prayer. I really only do two minutes of prayer. Then it's eight minutes of jokes and bullshit. But it gets you focused and clear. Stay focused. Stay clear. Remember, we can beat this thing. They keep talking about how many people died from a coronavirus and how many people got it. But they don't want to tell you 124,000 people have beat it. So just keep building your immune system. Keep God first. Everything's about family and God. Once you get that down, Everything else takes care of itself. I am your boy, your man, your servant, your friend. I am Michael Kaye, and I hope you had a good time. i see y'all later, maybe tomorrow, when we're reading books. All right, bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, T.S. Madison. Woo! Did y'all like the wig? Okay, I got to go. Bye. I'm going to hit end now. Come in. It's off. I, I should be hitting end now. That's how it works. I do it each week. Okay. So I hit end now.